What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the White Cedar Channel. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. We are here in Dublin, Ireland. If you guys uh, seen the last episode, you know we got to Dublin. We met our cousin again. Uh, we met his son. Uh, we met Azar, and we figured out some of the politics going on here in Dublin and what's going on. There's a bit of a, you know, a civil strife going on, but now that we're done with that we can move on to the next mission snaring thorstein but this episode uh i am a completionist when it comes to games so i want to go around and get all of our treasures and all of our mysteries and artifacts so i think we're going to do that this episode if you guys don't really care for all that um you can skip the, the episode and move on to episode three if it's out already if not uh, i'll be putting episode three out shortly and we'll continue with the story mission um i will be doing the mysteries first because they're usually more interesting. Then I'll be doing the artifacts next, because they're more interesting. Uh, and then I'll start on the treasures, and I'll end the treasures on a raid on this place over here, Lambay Abbey. Uh, we're going to be doing a raid at the end of this episode. And then uh, actually after that, I'm actually going to take a look at this. This is new to this DLC, Wrathdown Trade Post, with these little circles here. We're going to go give that a checkout uh, after we do our raid here. To see what's going on with that. It says unclaimed, so I'm assuming you can go there. I don't know if it's another raid or if it's another, you know, I, I don't know what's going on over here. So that'll be for the end of the episode. If you want to check that out, uh, skip to the end so you guys can see what's going on with that trade post. If you just want to watch the raid, go check out the raid, whatever. But we're going to be doing the mysteries first. Um, we're going to be doing the artifacts second. And then all the treasures third. Then the raid. Then the trade post. And that's how this episode's going to go. Uh, if you guys want to watch the whole video, I really appreciate it. That'd be awesome. Uh, watch to the end. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Here we are back in Dublin. Let's do our leap of faith off of this longhouse here. And here we are. So, we are going to be doing our mysteries first. I'm going to do this one that's in the city since it's right here. And we are going to run over here. It's about 120 meters away. And uh, we'll see what stories await us with these little blue balls. Uh, so usually the ones in the city are actual little missions. Uh, the one out in the countryside could easily be... Oh, man! I am so sorry. I didn't mean to break your fence. <laughs> I, I meant to jump over it, but I guess Ivor decided to barrel through it. Um, and it actually looks like an offering here. So it looks like we have a little offering stone. Let's see what it asks for. Oh, my goodness. Um... I need to give 50 deli delicacies. What is it? Del delicacy? Um, that must be a new item here in Ireland. Let's go to the store and see if they sell these delicacies. I, I, that's weird. Delicacies. Out, out of any item, they could have added delicacies. All right, cool. Uh, let's go to the store here and see if they sell them because I have a ton of silver as you can imagine after 100%ing all of England already and uh, if they got delicacies I'm just going to buy 50 of them if not then we'll uh, we'll move on and go to the next mystery and save that one for a later date once we can figure out what delicacies are uh, how do we get into this dude's shop I want to buy your stuff alright there we go Pull. they just put that there oh god Hey, I want to buy your wares. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump on your table. Hi. Hi. Uh, let me see what you got. I can uh, fetch this okay. if you want. Okay. Rations. Hunter arrows. <sighs> no delicacies. Would you be this right, could you, be nice. Can you relax? I'm, I'm, stop talking. Ooh. We got a bunch of different schemes going on here. <laughs> Bountiful tree scheme. Ooh. You know, I wish they could, um, they would do like a, a view type thing before you buy these. So you could kind of like preview it within your settlement. Ubisoft, sponsor me if you're listening to this. Uh, <laughs> it's a million dollar idea right there. Put a preview so that when we I buy these schemes and these stuff of things. in our settlements that we can uh, actually see what's going on here. This looks cool. Asgardian lamp scheme. I'm going to buy that. I hope you enjoy this. And we're going to look at that later. Um, got some more boat stuff. Yeah, not super into that. Tattoos, whatever. Cosmetics have never really been something that I care too much about. Fantastic fishes and where to find them. What? I didn't use that. Wait, I already... 
I already got these back in England. It's a little Easter egg for um, the Fantastic Beasts series. And uh, I'm wondering if they have a specific one to Ireland. Not sure. Uh, that's my cell tab. Anything so else? No, nothing else. I We're going to go. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't look like I can just buy delicacies. I'm sure that's a, an item that we'll figure out what it is later on. Or maybe we'll get it through doing chests and stuff. Who knows? But either way, we're going to go to our next mystery here. And it is about 600 meters away, so we got a nice little, little horseback ride. We're going to do our follow road. Oh, destination. That's interesting. It usually means that it's across a body of water. But it looked like it was in the middle of, uh, no, okay, all right, all right, I'm stuck, yep, all right, you, you stay there, I'll call you when I'm outside the, the walls. We're already only 409 meters, we're making good time here. Yeet! All right, let's go trample some pe people's, uh, farmlands, there you are, and, uh, get to this location. Hopefully we can actually do it this time. Uh, don't know what delicacies are. We'll find out later on. Maybe this is, maybe this mission here. Maybe I get 50 delicacies from this. How, how convenient would that be? Oh, look at that cross out in the middle of a uh, middle of a field. I wonder if they use them as a scarecrow or something. Man, look at this landscape, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Rolling mountains. Here we are. Oh no. Oh, if you know, you know, people. If you know, you know. The most frustrating thing in all of gaming. There's only four rocks. Maybe this one will be easy. It is easy. Thank you. <laughs> These puzzles, by the end of the regular game, were starting to get <laughs> really irritating. I mean, to the point where I was just going to stop playing. Because I'm incapable of playing a game if I'm not 100%ing it. Stay. Yeah, see, that's that was easy peasy. We're going to validate that real quick. Karen complete Dublin. Cool. All right. Got a mastery point for that. As always with these Cairns. But yeah, these cairns were getting really tough by the end of, uh... We're gonna go to this mystery here. They were getting really tough by the end of the campaigns in England. I mean, I'm talking about, I, I would have to stack seven, eight stones as high as possible to be able to validate them and, and to get my mastery point. It was not fun. Uh, there was actually one near the end there that I had to look up a, uh, a YouTube tutorial just to figure out how to stack these stones, but... Luckily, Dublin's taking it easy on me. Only four stones. Uh, but but we, we we need to see now what Mr. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ubisoft. Whoa, that was weird. Y'all see that? Ubisoft playing games with me, making me think that uh, they made some mistakes again. That was a close one. We almost lost the Series X, everybody. Alright. <laughs> Looks like, uh, oh... What is this place? It looks like almost a graveyard. No, it's not a graveyard. Or maybe it is. And all these circles are one grave? Very strange. Some ritual stuff going on here. I don't know. Let's go see what's going on. Um, you're underground, whatever you are. Is there a well nearby? Or Yeah, it looks like I gotta get into a cave down here. I'm sure Dublin holds us a lot of secrets. Looks like we got an old dock here. Look at that. Very cool. It's a small dock. A really big spinal column right here. Probably from a whale or something like that. A big shark. And uh dead body. Oh, we got a we got a note here. Fallen Dublin by Thorn, Odin, and Freya. Curse those who have burned Dublin, the city we have built stone by stone. We have fled, but there is no peace. We fear the Irish will come after us even here. Will those that despise us never accept us in this land? 
So it seems that the uh, the Vikings had a very unwelcome presence here in Ireland, and uh, everyone was very adamant of uh, getting them out of there. Really? Another key? It's got to be nearby. Sorry, guide me. Usually they're nearby. Everybody, it seems Dublin's giving me quite a hard time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to get upset. I'm like, come on. I, I, I got to be able to do some of the stuff around the map. Looks like we got our key here. Looks like an old uh, long ship right here. Bandit cave door key. So that's what we got. Let's take this chest. Got some leather and iron ore. We got another chest. Some clothing. Oh, that's a new item. And that was also a different chest. I've never seen a chest like that that opens just off of a tap. So, uh, we got a new loot system here in Ireland. Possibly. It's looking like. Uh, and it's looking like this is some sort of a scroll manuscript type thing. We got another chest here. More iron and leather. And we got a treasure hoard map. Nice. Let's just loot all this stuff. Opal. And that was it. Yeah, see? See that chest that I just opened? Very different. Very different uh, than normal. And more clothing. So, hmm. Not sure what mechanic that does. Seems like it's a new type of resource, actually, other than an item. Um, but we'll see. So I got a treasure hoard map. Actually, we're going to look at that hoard map because I want to see if it's somewhere I recognize. I think it's in bag. I haven't looked at a treasure hoard map in a while. I haven't really been paying attention to them, so... No, not the fish. Is this it? Oh, man. I have so much here that I haven't looked at yet. Oh, treasure hoard. <laughs> I have a few treasure hoard maps if you guys uh, haven't seen. <laughs> and uh, I should probably get on looking for some of these one day. Okay, what is all this? <laughs> some kind of uh, landmass jutting out on the right. So let me look at the map real quick. Maybe it's this here? That's that little square that it's talking about? Because it, it kind of looks like just a map of Dublin. Let me see here. Let me go back to it. Gotta scroll all the way through all my crap. And then I gotta find it again. And all my other crap. I need to clear out my inventory. Here we go. If that's a representation of Dublin, then whoever made this needs to get fired. They need a new t cartographer here. This is ridiculous. Um... <coughs> yeah, I'm at I'm at, I'm at a loss for words on that. Everybody, uh, <laughs> that's a not big brain move by me. Uh, if you guys uh, can figure out where that is on this map, let me know in the comments below. What do we got here? I'm thinking maybe it's around here, because I see that little representation of kind of like a rectangular, you know, offshoot to the right. Now I know this one doesn't really jut out at all, but you know it's you know it's you know. It's in a square shape. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's go check this out, because this scroll here actually looks new. I've never seen a scroll like that before. So, it looks like a new thing introduced. We'll see. Not sure. Get us a new artifact. I'm assuming we're not collecting manuscripts here, like for the Assassin's Creed order. Or maybe we are. I don't know. Could be completely wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing the uh, Gregorian chants coming from that church. Sounds good. Such a soothing tone. Those Gregorian chants. I encourage you guys to go listen to them just to uh, give them a shot. They're very, very calming, relaxing, uh, uh, musical notes that they sing in these Gregorian chants. Oh, nope, that's not how you get up there. Come on. There we go. I gotta go to the roof for this guy. Oh, now it's saying it's below me. 
Oh, it's up in the rafters here, isn't it? Yes. It is indeed up in the rafters. So let's go down off of our longhouse here and get back up here on the top. How do I get up here? Um, uh, looks fairly simple. I can just pop up, really. All right. And then pop across. Oh, excuse me. And nope, that's not what I wanted you to do, Ivor. <laughs> Let's try that again. Nope, Ivor. This is not a circus. I guess that works fine. It made it way harder than I was trying to make. Oh, God, I'm on fire. Jesus. <laughs> Fall right into the fire. Alright, let's collect whatever this is. It's a letter. Okay. Tuatha de Danan. Long before man came to Ireland, a people descended like mist from the skies and settled here. The Tuatha de Danan. Divine heroes these, women and men of knowledge and delight, makers of the ancient stones, speckled throughout our land, as well as Leah Fale herself. They lived a life of peace and wisdom, inspired the druids who were to come after. Hmm. I recycle page collected. Okay. So maybe we got a little bit of a history... History? History of Ireland here uh, as, a, as a mystery that we can find. Um, I got a couple notes up here, though, that I just stumbled across in my cousin uh, Barrett's room. Let's see. A Barrett, a Cormac? I don't know. Oh, this is all in Gaelic. Somebody who speaks Gaelic, translate in the com comment section for me. <laughs> I can't read it. Uh, Mo Benacht, La Scene Scribbin. Yeah, uh, pff, beats me. That's all in Irish Gaelic. Check that. And, uh, yep, this one's in English. Okay. Letter from Barrett's wife. Barrett, my love, I hope and pray all is well. Here in Caldaras, the waters flow down from the Pyrenees and are most so soothing. Your mother improvement is a blessed miracle. I think of you each day, each hour. Have patience with Siegfried. I, I'm still having... Yeah, I think it's just Siegfried. He has always been difficult, but I have hope that from his moods and outbursts of man of substance will emerge. Your loving wife, Sabrug, Sabrug, what kind of name is that? Sad Hubba. <laughs> Alright. His wife's name is Sad Hubba. Can't wait to meet her. And his mother, which I have yet to know the name of. So that's the new mystery type. Now we know. Let's go to this mystery since it's right next to us. And it looks like it's gonna be a tattoo, so we gotta chase this tattoo down, everybody. These are uh these are a little a little annoying. We'll see, though. We'll see. Maybe if uh, the Cairn was super easy, we'll see if this one's super easy. Oh, he's already running. Here we go. We gotta get it. We gotta get it. Ubisoft really dropped the ball here. Oh, no! I just dropped the ball here. Ubisoft really dropped the ball here, not doing a, uh, like, epic chase music when it came to these. I think they did that in Assassin's Creed 4, if I remember correctly, when you had to find the sea shanties. The music would pick up, like, your in combat, if I remember correctly. Oh, man. Come on, come on. Nice. Got it. We got our tattoo, everybody. Uh, what's it? Picked scheme. Picked scheme on the back. Okay. All right. All right, big yard. Big yard. All right. So let's go over here. I got, oh, look at that. This one has 4,640 likes. Uh, whatever. Okay, I don't know why people love these little pictures. But uh, it looks like uh, it's about 300, 400 meters out. We're going to get out of the gates and call our mount, or I'll just call my mount here. And we'll get to the next mystery that we have here in Dublin. We'll just enjoy the ride together. Look at the beautiful scenery. Whoa! It's a little rainy out, kind of dreary, but uh, you know it's uh, it's beautiful. 
Oh, come on, horse. You can't jump oh, off the dock. Don't yell at me. And yes, you can upgrade your horse to swim, for those of you that don't know. I believe you get this upgrade at the stable in uh, Ravensthorpe. Go to Ravensthorpe, go to the stable. Build the stable, first of all, if you have it. And uh, you buy the upgrade from the dude that's running the stable. And you'll let, uh, let your horse run. And uh, then also all the stamina upgrades you can get there. Your horse is basically a tank. It's never going to stop. What do we got here? Sounds like the noise that comes from the Roman masks. I wonder if those are here. Look at this. Yes, I have that. Oh god, there's oil in here. Yes, I have that power that does the uh, the explosive arrows. You gotta have that. What is this? This is different. Okay. What do we got? Oi Neil artifact. Find all Oi Neil artifacts to open a secret chest hidden in Ireland. Absolutely, we'll be doing that. One hundred percent. Okay. So we got this little artifact thing. We got a little reading here. Uh, Marek Mac Eogan, King of Isla 465, the fourth son of Eogan Mac Neil, died in his sleep. Am I on a grave? Is that what this is? Oh, this is a grave. I was just standing on a grave. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, that looks like an old grave to a, the son of a king. An old uh, Irish king. Very cool. Very cool. Playing this game makes me really wish I could have done a Let's Play on Assassin's Creed Origins with you guys. Man, what a game that was. Just to experience that. Uh, you think I'm excited about this one. Man, Assassin's Creed Origins really tickled the fancy here. Um, but we're going to jump down here and we're going to collect one, two, three, four, five of the main wealths. And if you're wondering why I'm not getting these little ones, those are just little chests. They're, they don't count towards your wealth. Um, but all these bigger orbs do. I'm actually wondering. I don't think that is... Yeah, the thing to the right might just be a few little chests. But we're going to check anyways. So I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. And then boom. And then we're going to go do our raid. And it's going to be awesome. And we're going to slaughter a bunch of soldiers. And we're going to take a bunch of loot. And hopefully... It'll give us enough resources to uh, go upgrade our Ravensthorpe back to level 6. But that's after we get away from Ireland. So, that's for later. So, like I said, I know uh, this might this can be a little boring. These chests are literally just opening chests. And, uh, try and, sometimes there's little puzzles involved in finding them, um, you know. And just cool stuff like that. Uh, but if you guys want to skip ahead, go ahead. If you want to go watch my raid that I'm going to do if it's more exciting for you guys. Uh, but like I said, I'm a completionist with these games, so gotta get in all the little artifacts you can find, especially in these U Ubisoft games. Uh, so it looks like we got a building here with two, maybe three doors, all locked. And we gotta find a way in, and it looks like I already found my way in. And yes, I did. Just like so. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna knock it down. What does that do? Yeah, I don't know what that did, but I'm gonna... Oh, there's boards up here. I cannot get in that way. Same with this one. Okay, that's new. I've never seen that before. Little challenge here. Oh, there must have been something blocking this window before. And when I shot that thing down, it, uh, it cleared it out for me. Cool. Got an opal. Always could use those. Let us... Uh, open our doors up here so that we can leave. Well, let's see what's in our chest. Tungsten! Alright. Very cool. Got ourselves a tungsten ingot and some titanium along with that. Next one is right next to us, about 65 meters away. What is that? Is that blending in? What kind of blend in is this? I'm about to gut some fish or something. I don't know. I'm just weaving. All right. Just wanted to check that out real quick. See what that was. The guards here are vigilant. Oh, they're not gonna be happy to see me. Oh, sorry for the yawns, everybody. When I talk like this and commentate, a lot of breath leaves in my body. 
You gotta make up for it. And step. Oh, come on. I can't have done a chain combo there. That's okay. We'll take care of these guys in short order and get our treasure. Do not worry, everybody. Now, these are those probably uh, Torstens? Tierstens? Little rebel army that he's got here. And we're in the middle of the city. So that's interesting. Let's take care of you with a little ground and pound because you're a big guy. And yes, your ground and pounds can get that fast, everybody. You just gotta really upgrade it like I did. I love that. I really love that. Uh, that little uh, thing there. What's it called? Power. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's get our... Oops. There we go. And we got some loot. Another tungsten ingot. That's what all of these are going to be. They're all going to be tungsten ingots. At least these next three. It's really tripping. I, I don't think that's one. Yeah, that's that's just three that get... Sometimes that happens. Three of the small ones gather together and their glow makes it look like a big one. But uh, when you zoom out, you can see it's not there. So, we're going to go to this guy right here to our south, about 300 meters. And, oh yeah, I'm in an enemy area, so I can't call my mount yet. Out of my way. We're good, we're good. I'm just gonna leave. I just wanna go get my treasure. Come on, mount. Get over it. Time to make an escape. Dude, come on, seriously. I'm running fast than you. Thank you. Is that too chasing me? Oh, I thought it was so chasing me. I was like, really? We decided to die today? But we're gonna go get this treasure over here. Another 100 meters and we should be there. Actually might be within the walls of the city? I don't know, it's in that lake now I remember, yeah. Probably, oh wait, this is the one that I was upset because I needed a key for, what do you right? See, I believe? And I said, oh, I'll come back later in the last episode. That's probably the key right there, huh? Let's go grab this key just because I don't want to go all the way down there and swim all the way to the bottom of the that little lake area or uh, that, that little uh, sound because it's coming from the ocean. And um, no, I have the key to the chest and I have to get out anyways and come over here. So let's get over this little, uh, looks like a water mill. Yeah. Got a bit of a water mill here. Oh, nope, not picture mill. That's not what I wanted. And it looks like we gotta figure out how to get in here. We got one locked door. And I think I see how to get in. That's not breakable. Never mind. So that's not it. Get off all the stuff, dude. Stop. Oh my god. Assassin's Creed really frustrates me with that sometimes. You just. Sometimes Ivor gets climb happy. Oh, there it is. That's how you get it. Oh, no. It looks like a cage is on it. Ah, I see. I see, I see. We have to... Um, get really frustrated and throw my... No, I'm just kidding. We, we gotta get up here, I think, actually. Come on. Man, that was a struggle to just do something that simple. Okay. Did I get it? I got it! Come on, oh, oh, oh god. Ivor is struggling right now in this little windmill area. But, I believe we have our key now. Let's get our chest, and let's get this key. And we got a note that I'll read once I make sure. And another one of those chests, some more clothing. Yep, Dublin Lake Key, so that's the key to that treasure. Let's read this note real here. Uh, Black Pool. My grandfather tells me that our precious, mucky black pool is the reason Barrett's castle is where it is. The old Vikings wanted to feel secure, and the pond itself was a form of defense. Anyone crossing it would get stuck in fetid mud. He claims that the old Gaels used it in Dublin for the black pool. And, uh, wait, Dublin for black pool? I thought black pool was a place. Whatever. And that became the city's name. Okay. A little bit of lore backstory there. Nice opal. Let me get that. A little bit of a lore backstory. 
saying maybe the, the city was named after this little lake here, Black Pool. As it said in the, uh, the note, I know there's a place in England called Blackpool. I'm not super, uh, in tune with my Irish roots to know what's going on over there, but... Maybe there's some, uh, local history there that kind of matches up with that letter. I know Assassin's Creed likes to do that a bit. So let's dive to the bottom of this lake here. And get ourselves some treasure. There it is! We got some more treasure over here, a little there treasure. And we loot that. And we're good. Awesome. Alright, we're making good progress here. Uh, we got three wealth, four artifacts, and a mystery. And we're gonna now going to do Lambay Abbey. We're gonna go off of the bang here. So let me get to the ocean ocean, which I, I think it's Yep, it's this way. Let's get to the ocean ocean, call our long ship. Let's go do a raid. And see what this uh, this abbey has in store for us. But yeah, so far, uh, pretty cool loot system here. Or pretty cool, uh, you know, little mystery finding system here. Uh, some new things introduced. We got the new statue. Um, the new manuscript type stuff. Uh, and it's all just, it looks like it's going to be just very lore stuff, lore friendly things. And uh, we get to learn some stuff about Ireland in the process, which is, of course, always awesome. So I'm going to call my longship here and we're going to make a sail. All the way to that island over there. All the way out yonder, you guys can see it now. And we're going to yawn real quick. Call log ship. Come on. Alright, guys. Come here. Alright, let us do a turnaround and get going. I love how Ivor takes command of his boat. Such a power move to get up like that. You know he's the captain. You just know. Run up the sail. All right, we're pretty much on open ocean right now, so hopefully these waves aren't too choppy. I just thought—is that lightning? Are we about to go into a storm? Was I tripping, or is that a water droplet that was flowing down? That might have been just a water droplet because I can see them on the camera. Or whatever you call this, not camera. The they break the fourth wall with this water effects on the camera. It's weird, but cool. Pretty cool. Let's enjoy the scenery here. Beautiful Dublin. And now it's time for a raid, everybody. What you've all been waiting for. Y'all been waiting for the raid. It's time to raid. Let's go. For those of you that have never seen an Assassin's Creed raid, you're in for a treat. We're about to charge up into this abbey. Oh, here we go. Axes out, shields banging. Let's go, Vikings. Time to take care of these fools. Dunzo, let's go. We got lots of treasure in this abbey to go find. We got lots of enemies to kill. Lots of stuff to loot. We're gonna sneak around the side here. Oh, I thought I could sneak up on him. Looks like we're getting into direct combat here. Woo. Love that slow mo. Love it. Take care of him. Take care of him. There's my friend. Hey, somebody come help me with this. Get in here, big boy. Whoa. Hey, bro. Hey, dude. Oh, help me with that. Hey, you can't help me if you're in there. Hey, dude. <laughs> <coughs> what the hell? Alright, he's broken. We'll come back to him. And we'll get that chest in a second. No, I want to get that. What are you doing, dude? There we go. Alright. Hey. 
Hey, try not to clip through the floor and help me open this chest here real quick. Appreciate it, dude. All right. We got the trade post supplies. Interesting. Okay, so that's a new thing. Um, kind of not happy. I wanted to see the regular materials so I could upgrade Raven's Thorpe, but, you know, maybe that's just my chest. Whoa, that's a new enemy type. He's got a spear and he's fast. Amos? Amos? Honest? Amos? Honest? Maybe? I don't know. Ow. Either way, he's no match for the ground and pound. Doesn't matter. Don't care how big he is or what he looks like. He's all done for. Let's open some more chests up, my friends. Help me out. Hey, come here. Get over here, dude. Push. And more trade post supplies. Okay, interesting. So that's. Uh, I'm sure we'll learn about that mechanic later on. And it'll be nice to have all this stuff. Um, collect Book of Knowledge. Absolutely. We got a new uh, smoke bomb arrow. Very cool. I'm trying to break windows and stuff just because I'm raiding, but I, I'm failing miserably. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you like that. All right. Let's go down to our next chest here. We're about halfway through this raid. I want to take all their stuff. Why are you not opening? You're a lot. Interesting. Good plunder, here. Good plunder here. That's right. Oh, hey, hey. You're already trying to help me out. Can I? Oh, man. Hey, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, you're struggling right now. Ubisoft. Oh, man. They can't win with these games, everybody. Such glitches. All right, let's try and do this one. <laughs> oh god, I just <laughs> I just bodied that man. Help me out here. I am so sorry, dude. Alright, can somebody please? Alright, so it looks like I can still activate it. It's just not shut. He doesn't want to help me anymore, because I just leveled him. And I do not blame the guy. Alright, he's over here. it. He's over it. He's fine. I shoulder checked the shit out of you, my friend. I'm sorry. Trade post supplies. Alright. Let's go up and help this guy. So six months in, we're still suffering from that glitch where 